In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We're here once again at St. Mary's Catholic Church in Altoona. I'm Father Derek Sikowski, the pastor, and it's a joy to be praying with you today. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace to you, Lord. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. For the sake of Jacob, my servant of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. of the nations are 
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance and hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. As we draw closer to another uh, major election. This passage gives us much to think about. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give to God what belongs to God. Great wisdom that Jesus offers us. Uh, and yet, important to balance against the first reading as well. Giving uh, to uh, Caesar and to God are not giving to two equal, uh, equal desti destinations. In the first reading, the Lord makes it very clear through the prophet Isaiah talking to Cyrus, uh, the king of Persia, that the Lord is the one who has given him his power. Even though Cyrus doesn't know the Lord, the Lord is using him in his providential plan uh, to further the cause of his chosen people. God is the sovereign Lord of history always. There's that great uh, phrase from Proverbs chapter 8 that says, it is by me that rulers rule. Any ruler, any time, any place, only has authority if God allows him to. Jesus makes that clear to Pontius Pilate as well on Good Friday. You would have no authority over me unless it were granted you from above. So yes, give to Caesar what is Caesar's, give to God what is God's. Pope Benedict often talked about not a separation of church and state, but the autonomy of church and state that the church should let the state leaders do what they are competent to do and not try to micromanage them, and the state should respect religious freedom and respect what religion is supposed to do. But each of us as voters are called to discern God's will and form our consciences in accordance with our Catholic faith because God is the Lord of all, and God is the Lord even of those that we elect. 
And we want to make sure that we cast our votes in accord with God's will. Let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God. For Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the elected leaders of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those whose lives are endangered because of war, poverty, abortion, euthanasia, and other persecution, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick or suffering, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions submitted by our viewers at home, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of love, all life comes from you and finds fulfillment by returning to you. Grant that the prayers we make in Christ's name hasten the coming of your kingdom and assist us in glorifying your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works. Through Christ our Lord, and so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray. From every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present age, 
and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us here at St. Mary's. This parish has always been a very generous supporter of the Diocesan Annual Appeal, which funds this ministry. Please pray for the success of the appeal in all of our parishes, and it's been a joy to celebrate with you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Hi, everybody. Bishop Callahan here with a word of thanks to you for joining us this morning and helping us make these broadcasts possible. Be assured of our prayers for you and your families during these celebrations. We hear from so many of you. Keep sending your intentions in so they are remembered by us, your brothers and sisters, at Mass. If you are able to make a contribution to help offset the expenses of these TV Mass broadcasts, please send your donation to the address listed on the screen. We would like to continue bringing these Masses to you as there is nothing this side of heaven that can unite us more closely with one another than the Eucharist. Thank you. God be with you, and may God reward you.